Welcome everybody to a real early broadcast of Jerusalem's Gate. It's wee hours in the morning and the Lord's got me up. Uh, I came across an article that just uh, came out uh, in the wee hours of the morning. And I thought it was much importance uh, with all the talk with North Korea and the situation regarding the United States, what to do. It's it's our biggest threat. You know, on a daily basis, he threatens the United States uh, to destroy us. Uh, he defies all uh, uh, UN sanctions. He keeps uh, testing his missiles, and there's uh, uh, satellite imaging saying that they uh, um, a sub one of his submarines are about to be, uh, uh, test another missile, which would of course be in uh, uh, against UN uh, resolutions. And, but I don't think Kim worries about the UN, to be quite honest with you. I don't think he loses any sleep over it. Uh, Tyler, this is coming out of RT. North Korea vows merciless blow with nuclear hammer if U.S. attempts to topple Kim. And uh, let's read a little of the article. Responding to CIA Chief uh, Mike uh, Pompeo's uh, remark last week that North Koreans would be better off without Kim Jong-un, Pyongyang's uh, warned it would not hesitate to launch a nuclear strike at, quote, the heart of the U.S. if Washington ventures to remove him. Speaking uh, at the Aspen Security Forum on Thursday, Pompeo uh, argued that, quote, from the administrator's perspective, end quote, it would be desirable to, quote, separate, end quote, Kim from the nuclear capacity of the rogue state calling the authoritarian leader, quote, the thing that is the most dangerous, end quote, about the North Korean situation. Well, you know, you have a young gentleman that has uh, nuclear uh, uh, weaponry, uh, and he's uh, about to test fire. It looks like uh, the satellite imaging uh, shows that it looks like he's about to do a uh, submarine uh, launch. Now, his submarines can only carry one nuclear missile. Uh, they're not like our mis uh, submarines and Russia submarines where they can launch multi-missiles. Uh, uh, they can only launch one missile. So, uh, you know, it is a threat. It's a world threat that Kim uh, has control of these nuclear weapons. And, you know, I say it, I said it once, and I'll say it a million times. If we were to stop this way back when, when they were uh, 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 producing their nuclear weaponry, uh, we would not have this problem that we're having right now. But, of course, the administration back then did not want to uh, physically stop North Korea from their uh, nuclear uh, desires. And you're ending up with a beast that is a thorn in the United States' side, and it's pretty much got the United States bent over a barrel. Uh, you know, it, 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 there's no... Uh, a war with North Korea would be a bad war. It would be a bad war. But to let him... What do you do? Do you go ahead with a, a war that would be a very, very destructive war? Or do you wait and let him keep developing and perfecting his uh, ICBMs? And uh, like I say before, wake up on the wrong side of bed in the future and decides to launch all his perfected ICBMs throughout the United States of America. It's kind of uh, damned if you do and damned if you don't situation. Any which way, stopping this beast to growing to be a super nuclear ICBM that can strike anywhere in the world and definitely strike in the United, anywhere in the United States in the, in the near future, uh... I don't know. I, all I know is Kim is dangerous. Uh, in prayer, uh, many uh, years ago, the Lord revealed to me that it's uh, it's going to be a problem, North Korea. And now North Korea has ties with uh, Iran. And uh, I truly believe that Kim is giving uh, Iran uh, nuclear uh, information on their Iran secret nuclear plans that I, I personally believe that Iran is doing, and they got away with a uh, cargo plane full of money in the process. Uh, give me that deal any day, huh? Uh, well, uh, I tell you, it's, uh, you know, what do you do? Do you make a strike against North Korea and go through uh, an extremely large war 
or do you wait until he uh, just keep just keep uh, ignoring the situation like we did many ministrations ago, a few ministrations ago, when uh, they uh, was planning their nuclear and building their nuclear uh, capabilities? Uh, that's a tough call. I'm not a, me uh, a military uh, strategist, so I can't uh, say either which way. Uh, my personal opinion is, if you let this demon grow, it should become a uh, uh, a Satan himself, and uh, he will have perfected ICBMs that can strike quickly anywhere in the United States of America. So it, it it's a choice of having a very large war or being held hostage to North Korea for the rest of Kim's life until uh, somebody else can get in there that maybe has a better sense than Kim does that would not uh, threaten uh, the, the South Korea or the United States or Japan. I don't know. Uh, either which way, uh, it shouldn't be a very, very. Uh, it, it shouldn't be bad if we do it now. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be total annihilation if we do it later. Uh, so uh, again, I'm not a military strategist. I'm not uh, in in the government. But uh, you know, when Kim going, but not to sound like a broken record, but uh, if this would have been stopped when they were uh, experimenting to build their first nuclear weapon, none of this would be happening. And people, some people in Congress spoke out about it, they're saying they had to be stopped. And, of course, the administration at the time uh, decided to just ignore it, leave it be, and maybe the problem will go away. Well, I'm going to tell you, Kim's not going away, and North Korea's nuclear advancement is not going away. It's only going to get better and perfected as each, as a second uh uh, that, as the second hand moves on a, a time clock, uh, thus uh, Kim is going to uh, get closer and closer to his perfected ICBMs. Just remember this uh, uh, video, what I'm saying. Give it another year or two. Give it another year or two, and he'll have his uh, perfected ICBMs that can uh, hit anywhere in the United States of America and uh, and it, it, and can... Uh, reach high levels and re-entry and land at its desired spot. And not only that, another thing you got is Kim giving the uh, nuclear uh, material and a nuclear uh, know-how to other nations. Because uh, Kim, uh, it's very clear that Kim does not like the United States of America. And he uh, he's not scared of us either. Uh, or he wouldn't be uh, threatening uh, South Korea and Japan and the United States and Hawaii with uh, nuclear uh, weapon attacks and almost on a daily basis threaten us. But, uh, you know, give, give it some thought. Pray over it. Uh, I pray that uh, the bright move be made. Uh, all I know if we wait, it's in a... Uh, it, he, he's just going to perfect his uh, ICBM. Now, I'm not saying go to war with North Korea. All I'm saying is the longer we uh, ignore this situation with Kim, uh, he's buying for Tom. I said this uh, a few years back, that Kim is looking for Tom. And when they were building uh, their nuclear weapons, uh, they wanted Tom. They were saying this and saying that. Uh, just to buy time to uh, build their nuclear weapons. And they have their nuclear weapons now. Now the uh, the task at hand on North Korea is perfecting ICBMs. Uh, and uh, I ask you to pray over it. Uh, pray that we uh, are, uh, the United States uh, makes the right decision for the future generations not to be held hostage by this rogue nation. And uh, God be with us in the name of Jesus Christ. You all take care. Bye-bye.